For six decades, Joe Paterno has roamed the Penn State sidelines with his familiar thick-rimmed glasses, rolled-up pants, black cleats, and Brooklyn accent. And I don't care who, who has the most wins. That's not what I've been in it. The coach known as Joe Pa would become a legend in State College, Pennsylvania, winning two national championships and more games than any other coach in Division I football. But his legacy, which had appeared spotless, will now forever be stained for why he left. With his program shattered by a child sex abuse scandal involving former assistant coach Jerry Sandusky, the 84-year-old Paterno announced Wednesday he'd retire at the end of the season. Joe Paterno, in many ways, is Penn State. And he has shown over the course of his career to have more power than maybe anybody else at Penn State. Uh, he was asked to step down by the president you know, back in 2004 when the program was going through some tough times and essentially said, no, I'm not doing it. Paterno came to State College in 1950 as an assistant to Rip Angle, his former coach at Brown. Sixteen years later, he took over the Nittany Lions and in 1968 guided them to the first of five perfect seasons. The high-water mark of his tenure came in the 1980s, when with defenses led by Sandusky, the Nittany Lions won two national championships. He ran a clean program at Penn State, steering clear of recruiting scandals that often tainted other programs. He would say in this 2009 interview how difficult it was to keep players from committing possible rules violations. But if you can tell me that there isn't some agent or somebody coming around that every once in a while buys a, doesn't buy a kid a lunch, which is illegal... I can't, I can't, I can't promise you that. Paterno has sent more than 250 players to the NFL. During his tenure, Penn State became known as Linebacker U, as the program turned out such defensive stalwarts as Dennis Oncotts, Greg Buttle, Jack Ham, LeVar Arrington, and Paul Puzlesny. He will leave the game as the all-time leader with 24 wins and 37 bowl appearances. He's taken his licks over the years, like in 2006 when he was run into by two players during a game at Wisconsin, fracturing a shin bone and tearing two knee ligaments. Late in his career, he'd coach more and more from the press box, including win number 409 last month, which broke a tie with Grambling's Eddie Robinson for most victories in Division I. As a, as a college football figure, he would be one of the most recognizable and famous figures in the history of college football. And I would argue that he is truly one of the most recognizable figures in all of American sports. Joe Paterno's program bore the motto, success with honor. But in the end, it could not withstand one of the most disturbing scandals in college athletics. John Klobuchar, The Associated Press.